A Murder at the End of the World, Season 1, Episode 4, Thoughts. This episode is called Chapter 4, Family Secrets. Another episode I love, spoilers for these first four episodes. Let's dive right in. So, let's see. Yeah, we open on Zoomer crying, really, like, bringing it to the forefront how, you know, this is a very traumatic situation experience this yeah and yeah so most of them end up in this locked room and yeah it is very like I don't think disturbing is probably too strong a word but it is it's very off-putting very uncomfortable and yeah, they talk about how the pacemaker m was maybe hacked, and yeah, that makes a ton of sense. <laughs> I think it's David. So someone doesn't realize that Darby isn't a millennial, which is yeah amusing. And yeah, eventually they are let out of. The, the locked room, but they have to give up all their electronic devices. And Sean, you know, knocks on the, the window and is allowed into to Darby's room and, you know, says, I owe you an apology. In my defense, predators didn't sound like that bad of an idea. And, yeah, love the camera work when they're on the snow speeder. Just fantastic. Absolutely love the camera work on this show. And, yeah, so they find the, the stuff for the, for the Zodiac. We'll talk about that. Very clever to send an SOS. And they get to the guard shack. And yeah, we you know we get the detail that Andy is doing this because he feels humiliated. He hates losing control, which you know is true of a lot of powerful people in the real world, but is also the kind of thing you really don't want to hear about a murder suspect like that. It's entirely possible that he has nothing to do with the the murders. But it's not the least murdery thing that one has ever heard about a murder suspect. And yeah, and and you know, Sean explains about you know, Andy knows how bad things are, how many people will die without them being able to, to do anything to save them, and is keeping it secret to avoid panic, which you know, you can you can understand where that's coming from. And then Sean explains that there is no more money and she doesn't think that the money has been going to, to space travel. So yeah, that's very interesting. And the yeah so they get into some some very difficult you know as as they're driving back you know the car you know is is like skidding and then it does some tricks like roll over play dead well darby plays dead and we get into another flashback and yeah the, it is legitimately a clever idea to pretend that oh you know we left the key back in the room and here's the the name for the you know because yeah they've clearly just been in the pool it's, yeah and yeah so Bill wants seven kids at least which I'm glad he explained what because because that's a that's a very interesting like I mean, I mean I would get like saying three at least but seven I I guess he wants 
all of his kids to make up the entirety of the, the dwarves at the school play of Snow White as it's just it's a it's a very interesting but yeah and he says you know oh the psychic said I was only gonna have one kid with a woman that I was only with once and it's you know we of course know that can't be with Darby because uh, you know it's been long enough that that would be you know yeah but as we find out at the very end of the episode that is actually true of Zoomer, and which is a great way to you know that we're we're past the halfway mark, but yeah, so so you know you gotta have something big to to really keep the audience, you know, enthralled, and yeah, that's very very clever twist there, you know, evidently Lee lied about them having an affair and we learned that the music on um, that that Darby has been listening to is her mother's this that was her mom's I pat I, I some something like that I'm not into Mac but yeah um, and you know she points out I'm not gonna go looking for someone who knows where I live already you know if she wanted as to have a relationship, she would come to me. And yeah, so they don't have sex in the in the evening. The next day, he brings her some coke for her coffee, and you know the the yeah they they talk about it, and you know she says, "I want you to hold me like you did by the lake on Naboo," and. I really appreciate this positive depiction of verbal consent. And yeah, they do end up having sex. And and yeah, really love that, you know, he's like, I don't want you to rush into this and then regret it. And yeah, back in the present, she's getting medical treatment. And apparently Sean dragged her there even though her ankle is twisted like holy crap she does not fuck around and yeah the the doctor uh Ava I think wants to give Darby some morphine which of course immediately it's like um can I just not and say we did and then we see that the helmet is you know there's yeah there's some trouble the Helmet stuck, which is the much less successful sequel to Homestuck. Really love the the POV shots with the the HUD and the countdown of how much oxygen is left. You know that they, they just said that there were three minutes, and the counter says one and a half. I'm guessing the counter is based on her current because she is like getting she's in distress, so she's breathing faster. And it's calculating based on that. It's possible. It's also just a continuity goof. And yeah, um, Andy and his security look very guilty here at the end. Like, holy crap! Like, there, you know, there's some line about the, the, we can we can do it. We can get it done. Something like that. You know, just yeah. And and both Sean and Darby look at at them and look at each other, and it's like. I guess this is it. There's, you know, what what can we even do to stop them? But yeah, very tense climax, and we have yet another tense waking up for Darby. You know, there is about at least one per episode so far, and then you know, yeah, Zoomer so likes playing doctor, so he's you know got the, and and she is like you know get get off me kid you know and and opens the the curtains and he goes a chew and then explains what a chew stands for yeah that's yeah very you know good good twist good like reveal of the twist i, I suppose it's not impossible that it's just com like completely random but it just feels like okay so 
We learned earlier in the episode that Bill had it. He said that his father did. Darby said, no, it's true. And now Zoomer has it. So, yeah, it would really, it seems, it would be a massive coincidence if Zoomer was not Bill's son. But, yeah, um... We got a couple of new little pieces of information here, and I I think it's working very well for the show that Darby is so often working with at least one other person. You know, flashbacks, it's Bill. You know, this episode it was Sean. Episode before it, it was Rohan. I kept so in episode, let's see. Yeah, episode one, it was also Bill. Who was in episode two? In episode two, it was Lee. You know, so, so yeah. And it is this thing of, like, well, you know, how much does she trust these other people? How much information is she going to give up? And, yeah. Um, yeah, I suppose that is what I have to say about this one. Um... Right, I, yeah, I really appreciate getting some, some information about what exactly happened with Rohan. In general, you know, this is a good way to do, if you're going to do episodes rather than a movie where it's this murder mystery, yeah, you know, have an episode end with a character dying, and then in the next episode we find out some of the details of what happened. And, yeah, you know, Ava said, well, yeah, we do have one of those things and, you know, normally it's just put away, but I did see that somebody had used it this time, so, yeah. Um, I think that is, yeah, um, next episode I should cover in eight days, so... Yeah, catch you then.